Numbers chapter 11 from verse 16. 16 to 17. Then you go to 24 up to 29. Okay. Mm -hmm. From verse 16. Uh -huh. And the Lord said unto me, unto me 70 men of the elders of Israel, mm -hmm. whom thou knowest to be the elders of the people, mm -hmm. and officers over them, mm -hmm. and bring them unto the tabernacle of the congregation, mm -hmm. that they may stand there with thee. Mm -hmm. Verse 17. Mm -hmm. And I will come down and talk with thee there, and I will take and I will take of the spirit which is upon thee, mm -hmm. and will put it upon them, okay. and they shall bear the burden of the people with thee, that okay. thou bear it not thyself alone. Okay, now I want you to say something. It was God who was saying, and I, and I. It was not Moses. This is now God who was now saying, and I will put the spirit that is on you, I will divide it amongst the people. It was not Moses who was dividing the spirit. Okay? Amen. So, these people, when they were selected, I think it was in the book of Exodus, right? It was Moses who selected the elders. Okay, so please read, then I'll explain further. So, just have this, it was God who was saying, and I, and I, and I. Right? And I will divide the spirit. It was God who was giving the spirit. Uh-huh. Verse 24. 24, yes. And Moses went out and told the people the words of the Lord. Uh -huh. And gathered the seventy men of the elders of the people. Uh -huh. And set them round about the tabernacle. Uh -huh. Verse 25. Uh -huh. And the Lord came down in a cloud and mm -hmm. spake unto him and took off the spirit that was upon him and gave it unto the seventy elders and it came to pass that when the spirit rested upon them uh -huh. they prophesied and did not cease now when the spirit rested upon them Moses did not ask but the spirit, the spirit began to work on them, or in them. And to Moses, there was a sign. He saw them prophesying. Because remember, before this, it was only Moses who was prophesying. But after this encounter, now the 70, they began also to prophesy. Right? Amen. Yes. Verse 26. Uh -huh. But there remained two of men in the camp. Uh -huh. The name of the one was Eldad, uh -huh. and the name of the other was Medad. Uh -huh. And the spirit rested upon them, okay. and they were of them that were written. Okay, okay, okay. So these were these ones were the ones who were present that day that the Lord divided the spirit. Now, now, they were supposed to be 70. But minus 2, it's 68, right? So 68 men went. But the other two were not with the 70. They remained in their tents. So when the spirit came now, these two in their tents they began to prophesy. They were not present that day in the church. But they were busy doing something else. But when the spirit came, it went also on them. Then they began to prophesy. And they also started prophesying uh, in their tents. And they were of them that were written, uh -huh. but went not out unto the tabernacle, uh -huh. and they prophesied in the so, camp. So, so their names were written, they were supposed to be in the tabernacle. Which means, meaning their names were written that they were supposed to be but present in the tabernacle. But because of the things that withhold them or whatever situations, Maybe they were rejected or the so promise of God was because of boredom, they did not go. They did not go to attend. They remained in their tents in their houses. Uh -huh. 
verse 27. Uh -huh. And there ran a young man uh -huh. and told Moses uh -huh. and said, uh -huh. Eldad and Medad do prophesy in the camp. Uh -huh. Verse 28. Uh -huh. And Joshua, the son of Nun, the servant of Moses, uh -huh. one of his young men uh -huh. answered and said, my Lord Moses, Ezo. forbid them. The news go to the people and that you are here Mofu present. Men of God, there are two people that we see you walking with, but they are prophesying in the so, camp. When the people came with the report, Joshua. leadership heard it. Joshua. Joshua. Uh -huh. Verse 29. 28. Eh? From oh, 28. Ah, 28 yes. And Joshua, the son of Nun, the servant of Moses, uh -huh. one of his young men, uh -huh. answered and said, uh -huh. My Lord Moses forbid them. Men of God, stop these people from what they are doing. Leadership is the leadership that is telling them to stop. Them. Verse 29. Uh -huh. And Moses said unto him, uh -huh. Envious thou for my sake, uh -huh. would God that all the Lord's people were prophets, uh -huh. and that the Lord would put his spirit upon them. Uh -huh. Verse 30. Okay, got Moses, you may take your seats. Your seats. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Don't be envious of these people. I desire for everyone to prophesy just as they are. Okay. Amen. Now, Zino. I want you to understand the base of this story. The elders so that, so that you understand why, where these people were appointed. Because remember, elders. these were the Israelites who were once in Egypt. And they were in Egypt, they were slaves. As they were in Egypt, they were in Egypt. As they were working as slaves, God sent Moses. Go and liberate my people from Egypt to the land. So when Moses went into Egypt to deliver these people, they started a journey in the wilderness. I think you all know the story. So remember this. There was a promised land which God said they are supposed to go to. But the problem is these people, they, are still, they, were, they were slaves in Egypt. And most times when God knew that when he was about to give them Canaan, there was one stumbling, stumbling block because everyone, even us, we're shocked. Why is it Israel took so many years to come out of Egypt to enter into Canaan? Because if you go today to Egypt, I think by bus it's only 45 or maybe, maybe 45 minutes by bus or one hour, I don't know, from Egypt to, to Israel. Even, even by flight, I don't think it's that too long. It won't take even days. Hello? But these people, they took years. Now, the reason why they took years is they were it was because they were slaves. In Egypt. Yet God wanted to give them the land of their own. So, God knew the dangers present. To, to give a slave a place of their own when their mind is still so can you imagine that the years I'm not forgot it's like a delay when I'm married as delay Israelites Egypt, but mentality. It was not God. Israelites delay mentality slave. It was not God who delayed them to enter into Canaan, but their mentality, it their mindset. Yes. For them to take out that slave mentality. It was not God who delayed them, but their mindsets delayed them. Okay, look at your neighbor now. 
Do you know there's a prophecy, some of them, that is hanging upon them? And a lot of you looking at you now, you can see prophetic words hanging. And sometimes it's not about evil spirits possessing you. But most of you, your mentality is actually resisting the promised land to come in. So the prophecy, if you read the prophecies, there was a specific time they were supposed to enter into Canaan. And according to God, God did not want them to take such a long time in the wilderness. Hello? Amen. Hello? Amen. Hello? Amen. Hello? Amen. Okay. Can you imagine that the time that they took Egypt, like According to the prophecies that have been given in the books, they took a long, long time. Reason why? In the slavery, because. There was none who could read or write. Prophecy chiti vano faronge wa chibuda ukono uchono ti vaka delay afuti ne ma years kubuda mu Egypt. They delayed with years to come out of Egypt. Makoranga kataro vaka tashika but the problem. The years that were marked arrived but none of them could read or write. That's why you see on the birth of Moses their, their, his parents were going to cast him in the river. He was taken by the daughters of Pharaoh and they started taking care of the best education ever. Education ever. He was taught to write ne physically and languages. And was taught languages. Why? Because Mwara zot akava burita was nano guna kwerenga kana kunyora. History no tada kuzonyora tino kono shaya bukura Genesis. Because God knew that if they go out without someone who could read or write, history would go away. Because Mwara ido tupanene ma records. Eka fambero ka itane vano. God wanted to keep records of how he wrote to these people. The foolishness of the flesh disturbed the fulfillment of the According prophecies. According to the time he had to fulfill Okay. Amen. Looks like I'm talking to the wrong people. Okay. Those are going to to some a good waste time when they go even that's why you see it's not wasting time to go to school regardless that the anointing is upon you there are some things that require books to be written so Israel can you imagine because by the time you Egypt was a superpower during that time Egypt and the the Egypt was the first nation to introduce Nya Zekunyora Egypt and Zekunyora Hello. Amen. Met they were also champions of industry. industry. Pioneers of industrialization. The problem is amongst all these people, but the day of the illiteracy. Because Mwara had not panyoro in Norondo and the Anezimwe. Because remember, Vaka Piwa ma forty commandments very musango kote utwa kukenan. God wanted a history to be written, written down. So God is telling you in the wilderness. There were things that were supposed to be written. I said that was written. What is it? Because Moses was not just no new one, just no garden. So I'm not one. God knew that things that are written will stay longer than things that you hear. That's why you see the person sitting next to you is very, very clever. What you are doing is a waste of time to others because none is writing and down. And there was a time Don't. Trust a person that is especially panotoro important information. Even Namario Anesh Profita Jaka Misa Neguti Pai Savana Guna Kunyora. God himself stood prophecies because no one was there. What is the man who problem? I go to say you are open. There is a delay. At times, your failure to write your dreams is because the Bible is not. The Bible says he who sees a vision must write it down. Write down the vision. After you are nyoro, but After writing it down, you have people who run along with it after writing it down. Which means you never trust anyone who doesn't write. And most times, not writing actually is a prophecy of a visionless man. 
Kusanyora ka jinji chiporofita che munhu asina chiwono. Look at your neighbor. Look at what they are holding in their hands. That is the reason why they are like such. Because even now, if I, if, if I ask you, what did God tell you last year? The dream that you had last year, you can't even, even remember it. Even to God, he knows it's a waste of time to because tell you. Because you don't write the visions down. What does Habakkuk say? Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2. Please read, read it for us. Habakkuk chapter 2 from verse 2. Verse 2. Uh-huh. Verse 2. And the Lord answered me and said, uh-huh. Write the vision. Write the vision. Uh-huh. And make it plain upon tables. And make it plain upon tables. That he may run that readeth it. That he may run. No, no, no. Look. Time. There's a vision in Rwanda when I'm here. But not you know, Chirukuva kuna. You have to go. Changa kura zoti muna. A vision that you go na kunyora. Write down the vision. The first step for to so to for a person to be a visionary is to write. And also for that vision to go forward, there must be some people also who are literate who are able to read. Kuti chuo na chigo na kuenda kumbere. Kuna fana kuenda. Because a very important vision, you don't speak it. You let people read it. Because kajinji jamuno taura muno kanga anwa. Most times what you speak. Asi chanyo roya record muno ramba mti zokera kwa chini. What you've written down is now a record. So kajinji we tuti pati ni nekuti amuna shakanyo roa. Most of us are where we are because. Israel to far rakubuda mu Egypt yaka delay because apane guna kunyora. Israel delay to come out of Egypt. Because by time ya tu kaka pasa tu pa introduce kwa kudzime nyika zje kunyora and the very same da kuta zje kudzi. And everyone wanted to learn went to Egypt. So God made a way for Moses. Then God made sure that Moses goes under serious and very powerful tutors. Moses and Moses was taught even mathematics. He was even taught how to write. That's why we have the Pentateuch, five books written by what are you writing? What do you have in your books? Can you imagine? Israel was delayed even if the prophecy was there. And but the time problem was right. No one could write. Then God waited for someone to rise. And again, it was also delayed to the Prophets to, to, the, to, the, to those people, all the Israelites. The days of the rising of Moses was a delay to the prophecies of the Israelites. Wait until this man finishes his education. After his education, God then told Moses to go and tell the people. Hello? Amen. Now, where the issues was is here. These people that are supposed to tell, they were supposed to go to a land that God had chosen It was a them. nation also which needed professionals to run it. But these professionals remember. What caused God to pick them up is because God had their car. Which means their religious relationship or their relationship with God. No, these people are slaves. Because God to say, even if they are slaves, they deserve to live like kings. So, they were praying. But the problem is that as they were praying, they were praying. Physical lives. They did not raise up their physical standards mentality of living. Mentality was slaves. Their mentality was still the mentality but of slaves. But the spiritual was they were crying and God was answering. God hearing. 
But the problem panyama wesa kura. The problem they could not grow up. Wesa ba exposed kuchikoro. They were not exposed to education. Wesa ba exposed kuzunja kakosha zvemu. They were not exposed to important things of kingship. Chinuta ba ziva kushanda. The only thing that they knew was to work. Kwa ba shandiri kote ba shandiru. To be laborers, not to be. Yet mi na matoya wa ba ichemera kuto ba sunungure kuto ba ba shandiru. And yet their prayers, they were pray, they were crying to be liberated that they can also be employers. Hello. Amen. Hello. Amen. That's that dangerous to, to, to teach a person who does not think. He's going to pray for things that are bigger than his capacity. You pray for God for a business, but you don't have the capacity to so run a business. God hears your prayers. You pray that you want to be a CEO to run Econom. But you spend your time in the mountain. You don't, even, you don't even understand financial You don't understand marketing. Most of you are, are being sent because back because physically you forgot that you prayed to a spirit God so that he can give you sins that require a level of physical professionalism. I am speaking to wrong people today. Nobody is understanding anything. The word is bouncing back. Prayer request here to God. Your prayer request unto the Lord was deliver us from slavery. We want also to own our own land. We want our own land. But the problem was the mentality was the mentality of a slave. So God said, Let us go, Moses. These people are delaying me. Some are being and are dying without enjoying their prophecies. Can you imagine? It's very possible not going to profit what are going to enjoy a prophecy. It's, it's possible that you, you it's very pro- possible. You might not Could be you in your prophecy. God might tell you that you're going into Canaan but you fail prophecy to enter into Canaan. Your prophecy will be hanged and it's received by your child who will not pray for it. it. Good lives, but That's why you see there are people who are living good lives but they are hidden. This is all because of their forefathers who prayed Most and God gave them a word of prophecy. But Jinji, that were promised Canaan, did not, they did not enter into Canaan. They are children. And there was Jinji Chakava Misa mentality. Most of them, what stopped them to enter into Canaan was their mindset. Hello? Amen. Hello? Amen. So, Marizu Aketa, Mos Chiburiza. What God did. Moses take these people out. But the problem is their mindset was a mindset of But the problem is their mindset was a mindset of slavery. Have you ever seen a person who has boarded a truck? Rory, 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 a truck, an open truck. In that open truck, there is a spirit that governs it. When you board an open, open truck, Rory. Just the moment you, you, know know it, you just feel like it's Zia, to start. Zive, but don't what is it you don't know, but it has to start. Now, what pains is a person who has grown up used to the life one on day, track. One day, one day, one day we the guy that we gave a track. So we had received a truck and we gave it to another guy. So as he was driving this truck, he, dr- he drove it so well. Then, but that's what one day no, I can drive Congo He drove this truck for a long time. But that's what Mukoma now to drive in a Benz in a Shandisa. Then I asked this young man to drive the Mercedes Benz that I used to use. I don't drive our. This young man used to drive me. Since you have got my other car that you're driving, come and drive this Mercedes uh, Benz. Uh, uh. I was he would drive that Mercedes-Benz as a truck. You can drive, but this is not a truck. You could, the, you could hear the revs of the Mercedes-Benz like a master But the mentality is in the truck. The mentality is still in the truck. But the body has been promoted into the Mercedes-Benz. The mindset is thought everything is supposed to be done. Like 
Just to remind yourself that I'm now in a Mercedes Benz. I told him now stop driving that truck. Don't drive foot Benz. Go and drive the Mercedes Benz. Until your mind has been calibrated to the performance of the Mercedes Benz. Don't look down upon your mind when and you a lot something. of us Most of us are being troubled by our mindset. Some of you from the evil spirits, you are not okay, you are free. If a person is used to manifestation of an evil spirit, he can, that person can manifest, without manifest a demon. The mind will start manifesting. Oh, do you know? There are people who are manifesting but it's no longer an but evil spirit. Manifestation the, man, the manifestation has now calibrated the and mind. What is manifesting is not an evil spirit, but it is the mind. Hmm. Amen. People will be asking, when is this person going to be liberated? The person has been liberated long but the problem back. The mind is not yet liberated. So can you imagine Egypt? Imagine when they left Egypt, God made them go around in circles so that their minds can change. People were there, yes. The land that was prophesied was there, yes. But the problem, the problem, the mind was not here. The gospel is being preached to the poor. That's why the Bible said, God tells them that. A poor man has delivered on out, and not deliver on information. A poor gospel. Man is a poor man is not delivered by out. You know the gospel, you know what the good news. Which means can all that could deliver a good news If you want to deliver a poor person, tell them good news until their minds is are receptive of the good In news. In other words, unofara kuz wash a cake. You're supposed to be told of a cake. Before you eat it, so that you know that there is a cake. So that we take out this homemade bread. So that you can be eager to taste. The gospel is not going to Until you hear its sweetness. There is a food that is. You just say Before it comes to you, so it has explained. Concept it has up to now, they could tanangura kingdom. The concept of God is for us to explain. Chimbo mira kuwaratiza, chimbo tanangura kushikra mentality a kingdom mentality. Stop demonstrating to them. Explain it to them so that they are. In other words, vatanangura re humambo. Explain to them the kingdom. So that they may know that you live like kings. Or just imagine. Or just imagine. Why The reason why God said, before you go to heaven, I want to show, I want to teach you the things of the I'm supposed to teach you the heavens and tell you about the gold and the that are there. if you go there, the first day you might steal that gold and yet it belongs to you. You start feeling like to be a mafia to steal that gold. But not knowing that that gold belongs to you. Because it's a place of gold. Preach to them until they start visualizing it. What starts to enter is the mind. Before the body enters, so that the mind can be prepared for the gospel. God tell them that the gospel has been preached to the poor. When they said, if you see a poor man preach to him the gospel of the kingdom. In most times when the mind gets there, the body will fall. But the problem is people want to enter but into you know, Kenan. Then thinking the mind will change when but they are in Kenan. Like your previous place. Truly speaking, if you get into a place, your mindset is still old. 
that some place will change to become where you are coming from. from. It's not about us going out of the country. You might go to United Kingdom, Australia, or even Canada. But you'll be living like a person who is staying in unity. It's not about you going there. It's all about is your mind receptive of the things that are happening. You can get to Dallas in where you are staying and it's like unit K in Chitungiza. Oh my we. Amen. So, what's painful, man of God, is this. The promise of God is for these people to live like kings but in the land of Canaan. This position, but the people were praying for this position to become kings. Their minds have not yet been receptive to the lifestyle of the king. Amen. Their minds are used to laboring not to be employers. They are used to staying in the ghetto. They are not used to enter into so, palaces. God knew that a person is dangerous if you take them into a palace and yet their mindset is in a so, ghetto mindset. So God is telling, to Mo, is telling Moses, Deal with their mindsets. So, you discover during the time where we read, they had walked with Moses. If you see God wanting to promote you, God starts to bring order into your life. And, the order and that order is very painful. Especially if you have a person who has just because been used to live reckless. Because there are some people that disturbs that order. They take away some of your relatives that are close that you thought these were the closest to you. You are, you, you are delivered from people who remove order from your life. There's a time where God segregates you and God wants to deal with you. God takes you from people and the things that you have mentality Trying to shed away that mentality of being a labor. Because mentality is not changed. Your mentality is changed by the things that you hear and what you see. That's why you see exposure after prayer is very important. People of God, hear me. Do you know if you leave Murambinda Growth Point and come to Arare to work, when you grew up in Murambinda, you might live there and say, if I go to Arare to work and I buy a bicycle, you ride going forward. If you take it backwards, it's breaking it. Long back when you are in the rural homestead with but such kind of a bicycle, God. you were the king. Even ladies, they would, they would envy a, a man with so, a bicycle. Know, a picture, I told my and an afro. What the afro West. If that man has an afro and a bicycle, so, West. Kuradzot, an a baskoro, I is a pegs, but trous. To show that they have a bicycle, they could put a peg. On the, on and the the of their if you get home with a boyfriend like that, they would say you are it was time to go and see your girlfriend pushing a bicycle. Uh, my 2000, my and these who were born I'm in I'm the I'm 2000, going to you might not be able to I'm comprehend to these things. You might not understand these things. Our fathers would come to Arare targeting to buy a bicycle. If I get to Arare, if I work and I buy a bicycle, when they come here, they will see that they, they are actually cars. Some, it took them time to change their mentality that they bicycle There is something better than a bicycle. Hello? Amen. Hello? Amen. Hello? Amen. So, Marin Dopa Katanga will not know. God then discovered that. No. 
What I have prepared for these people mindset is not in chini. sync with their mindset. Then God said, as they are about to enter into Canaan, let me bring order amongst but the problem them. But the order is being brought amongst the slaves who came from Egypt. The order is being brought upon slaves who came from Egypt. She said, I to power to have a burrito. God is not bringing another generation to give them order, but amongst the slaves, this order. Moses teach them to be orderly. But he the level of the, the other level of order just teach them about Canaan. Now, why would God say to Moses, Why would God tell Moses, tell Israel that they are going to a land full of milk and honey? Because it's not like If you go to Canaan, they were not eating honey and milk every time. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. But it was a way to change their mentality that if they Saka see a glass of milk, one of the best things just on don't you know cautious was like it was honey and milk. God looked for the best thing that they valued, which was Saka honey and milk. Saka Maria, that was the one that chamu no zive mimi. Chani chiri kwandu da kwenye said the best chamu no zive mimi mukaka ne uchi. Because kwa remember they were slaves. God was just telling them the best thing that I can equate to what you're going to say is honey and milk. So as soon as they see that glass of milk, they just say, oh, no, this is not honey and milk. This is honey and milk. And they start drinking the milk. Because they know that the milk is not the best. As slaves, they envy the person who was drinking milk or eating honey. What Lobengula, our great great grandfather, anyone who wanted to enter into a deal with him, he told them sugar. Was, that's the only sweet thing. Mentality among slaves in Israel, the best thing that they knew is the best life, eat honey and milk. The mentality of the Israelite slaves, the best thing that they knew was honey and milk. God they were not limit- already cheat. Kuna jiri more than honey and milk, but kundi wa uze avashi tuisi se. So I'm going to find out to God was actually limiting them to tell them honey and milk, but he couldn't tell them. Like where you are sitting, God cannot tell you about lasagna and yet you know sad. So most kafe. times, you not only limit your language, you are more aware of your exposure. You are not. Most times, what limits God's language to you is the level of your exposure. You know, there are some certain issues that God wants to tell you, but for Him to tell you, He sees that your mind is not yet there. But for Him to tell you, He sees that your mind is not yet there. But for Him to tell you, He sees that your mind is not yet there. But for Him to tell you, He sees that your mind is not yet there. But for Him to tell you, He sees that your mind is not yet there. But for Him to tell you, He sees that your mind is not yet there. But for Him to tell you, He sees that your mind is not yet there. But for Him to tell you, He sees that your mind is not yet there. Where I'm taking you, you are going to eat lasagna. And you start asking, what is lasagna? You might start casting out or binding that lasagna. Hello? Amen. So God looks for the best. Somebody on him. Let's say as an example, Paari. You know the best life you have to do with pizza. You can do it 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 with Coca Cola. Right? Amen. So, if God gets to him and says, I want to take you to another level, God will search what is it that he understands that he might be able to do okay, okay, pizza. Then God sees that he, he understands pizza. God will come and say, Where well, I want to take you. It's a place of pizza and cock. What is, what is causing him to say that it's a limited mentality that is not exposed? Amen. There's a child who came and started staying with that child. So, power to go bunzao. Saka, she, she chano farra kujiga. As she, as the, that child came, we ask, what is it that you want? You love eating. Farno endo da sadza. I love sadza. Kano, tukura the best, best. What is the best meal that you love? Kwaari sadza ne uku was the best. To her or to him, sadza and chicken was the best. Kano, tukuru da se kuti pa Christmas. We want something that you can eat on Christmas, a special meal. Chakuto kanzo watu wa farra onojiga. Or something that if you are excited, you eat that thing. Rice and chicken. And they said, rice and chicken. Then I said, do you know, are you saying there is nothing that is more? Better than rice and chicken. And we went out one day. 
with a child. And we went to a place where we know rice and chicken you can't find it. Then we said, this is the food that is here. Do you know that are no roasted potatoes? Chips. You can order fresh fries. And mother showed her order these things. The first time she ate those things. She, these things were delicious. And she couldn't say that this is delicious. So when we got back home, one day when we got right, got to see that we 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 do you know that your lack of exposure? There are things that God wants to tell you, but okay. you can't find a way to tell you. For example, you. can you imagine the book, book of Revelation? Book of Revelation. Most people are afraid to read it. Book of Revelation. In the book of Revelation, you are being told of grasshoppers that come and speak fire. And tell you of scorpions that are going to bite people and to Then now we are prophet when we expose this as a jet, my flight a jet. Because of an unexposed prophet, one day we shall be wizards in the All of you are waiting for grasshoppers to come. The prophet when he saw the only thing that he asked The prophet did not know about aeroplanes. But he asked him when God showed him as locusts. He said, this is what we can do. He said, this is exposed to. For them to know that they were armored tanks, God showed him a scorpions. Which means vocabulary of prophet. Meaning the vocabulary of the prophet. It distorted the prophecy that was coming from the Lord. All of you people are waiting for locusts. Hello? Amen. All of you people are waiting for locusts. Hello? Amen. Hello? Amen. Because physically, exposed. this prophet was not exposed. Hello? Amen. So, right now you can pray so much. And one matters what you want to and God feels that the levels that you are supposed to be working on physically are but the problem on exposure. The problem is you like exposure. So I don't know if I limit it. At times what God does, you think God limits but God doesn't limit it. You limit not God. You discover that the mindset of a person limits a person not God. You discover that the mindset of a person limits a person not God. That's why every time God wanted to give someone something, he said, raise your hand. And the you wawona ucha tora. Every place that you have seen, you are going to take. Wawona ucha tora. Whatever you have seen, you are going to possess. When he raised his hand and saw, you would write down what he saw. So, Gino. these slaves. They were supposed to be kings in Canaan. Where God wanted to take them to. So, 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 my God, Canaan is going to be seven days. Then God saw, discovered that if they enter into Canaan with Muno this man, they will enter into Canaan in Canaan. In they don't even know how to flash toilets. They, they don't use use buckets. They don't know showering tubs. They know buckets. You, you find people kindling fire in a mansion using fire. Wood. Up to now, I still imagine most of them because they remember. Most of them are too I still imagine most of them because remember. Moses had two advantages. Moses was advantaged, advantaged in a king. He grew up living 
a life of a king. Moses was exposed to a life of kings. Moses anga kaparirwa ku penyu. Saka Moses aito ziva taste chocolate aiziva. He knew the taste of chocolate. He and Moses aito ziva chino nzi jacuz aiziva. Moses knew a jacuz. He knew it. But the problem. Haruko na ku deliver ava zizi. But the problem the people he wanted to deliver. And the maro watu haruko wa uza kuti. And ono wa toro wa sakuma jacuz. And God is telling them, take them and put them in the life of Jacuzzi. They are in the Jacuzzi. And what is a Jacuzzi? It's a story of Egypt. To an extent, they would say, one point, I can't tell you, I can't tell you, I can't tell you, it's a story of Egypt. At one point, after preaching the gospel, they said, take us first to Egypt. He was trying to tell them, there are robbers of the royal world. There are bathtubs, there are bathtubs, there are bathtubs, there are bathtubs, they are hearing lavender, but they don't understand. Take us back to Egypt where we would bath in in shelves. Back to Egypt where we would bath in shelves. Saka paka o mandebe kudai. The challenge comes when it's the very prophet antanga no pins wa kuna experience a life ya kufara zo pins avano. The prophet first enjoys the life that is supposed to be people to. But if I don't know Toro, saka, hasha za Moses that ziris, dekutu no shizila shi nindaka shivona me. The anger of Moses was that I know these things I've experienced. Saka, na mwariwa ya zote waka Toro wa jera shi mkuku. God knew if he takes people who have lived a lonely life. Even if he takes people who have lived a lonely life. Even if he takes people who have lived a lonely life. Even if he takes people who have lived a lonely life. Even if he takes people who have lived a lonely life. Even if he takes people who have lived a lonely life. Even if he takes people who have lived a lonely life. Even if he takes people who have lived a lonely life. Even if he takes people who have lived a lonely life. Even if he takes people who have lived a lonely life. Even if he takes people who have lived a lonely life. Angered by that kind of a lifestyle, so that he can go. No, sir. Go, go, no. Tinya go. Not Joshua. Anga, if I'm going to attend today, Joshua. That's why you see, even if Joshua was the God said, "You want Moses? I don't think you're searching on the motor chi. I want Moses who understands. I don't think you're searching on the leather chi. Who understands leather? I don't think you're searching on the velvet chi. Who understands velvet? I don't think you're searching on the labels. Who understand all the labels? Kuta aga aga gara musango aga peka one chijira. I don't think you're searching on the motor chi. If he stays in the wilderness, whoop. Because remember, is the Lord going to grow? What are we doing? But we're not. But to Zawa, there's a cura. The Bible says the shoes did not grow old. There's a tadiki. They could not be shoes. That's not the boys long boots. They didn't go from the canals. They thought they knew they were good as long as they could wear. Because what was their slavery? Because they were used to slavery. Where's that to pick up boots? Zacho. Saka to them when you go up, saka boots come, kuku ke boots and to go tiri bo. To them, to them, whatever shoes that you get, them. Akuna chaka uma ku deliver a muna no ziva namo dokum pinza mu good life. There's nothing as difficult to deliver a person in poverty. Muna jera ti vebro amba makuti bam. Ma mbo ita. Saka ma bleke do atete vena wa. Yekuti wairo wa kuti bam. Yo vetango. A person used to watching the those TVs of shadows. I still remember. Did you look around here? Kudara, mama. Long back, my mother there. Magatenga VCR. First VCR, I am there, my checker. She bought a VCR. Oh, taka fara baba. We were so happy. But the VCR against them are batani. But that VCR had no batani. So we pin that you gunwe mu VCR. So it put your finger inside the VCR and you punch. So we fara utu zeku ti saka. So you're supposed to know this is for first one. So all the buttons were missing. So for people not to see me come out with the coat. It was just a shell without buttons. So if you put your finger inside the visa, you would feel this is a stop button. Would knew that this is a stop button. But you know that this is a stop button. Because do I have a target? Because I'm not going to turn them a DVD, but tell me I'm going to have a VCR. That time DVDs were there, but we had a VCR. So as soon as we went to DVD, I got a VCR. Whatever they said about DVDs, we wanted our VCR. Hello. Amen. Hello. Amen. Hello. Amen. Then what we got? VCR. We just wanted our VCR. All the flat screens and stuff we want we to us a TV was just a TV. We had a TV that you would slap for it to come out. Imagine if you get that TV with the pot belly. To you it's okay. Problem there with blessing you can't deny you. The problem is the blessing that the Lord has. And their mindset. 
it is limited. Can you imagine that they would even marvel musango one day to store to Israel? You limited me. Up until God, when they were in the wilderness, God said, Israel, Israel, where did we limit you? And they asked, so I can imagine that you had a day that you fasted for me. It was a limitation. But the problem is, it was a chicken. And it was a limit. You limited me on what I wanted to do for you. Can imagine that the exposure can cause you to make limited prayer Imagine lack of exposure can cause you to make limited prayer requests. Right now you are crying even for a Honda Fit. Because in your own the one who comes with the Honda Fit is the one who comes with the Honda Fit. And you see a Honda Fit is the one who comes with the Honda Fit. Amen. Thank you. Look at your prayer request. Because one. From your relatives, there's no one. The one who is well up. So when you gather on Christmas events, you want a, 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 a You limit exposure. You are limited by your lack of exposure. Hello. Amen. Hello. Amen. So, we want to turn these volunteers into professionals. So, God said, to that kind of information. Amen. Do you know the sad part is? God saw it fit to kill everyone who came from Egypt. When he discovered that it was, it was only maybe less than five people were spared. Only five people were spared, but the rest. Those who prayed and made prayer requests, they died. At least five people were spared, but the rest died. Those who prayed and made prayer requests, they died. At least five people were spared. Because generation you are coming here and you preach the gospel to you, but there is a gospel that you grew up so with. Then God says it's better to kill this he generation. The foot and we start another generation. But this time, catch them young Moses. Raise youngsters that grow up hating God. Youngsters that will grow up thinking about Canaan, a land of milk and honey. That's why you see kind of growth here. When it's coming. Sometimes you know, At times it might and cause the death yon. of other but believers in that that place. Church, Do you know the love of church for another person can be dangerous? You can love church and say, this I'm not going to leave the church. Not knowing that that is your death penalty. Because when God wants to take that church to another level, Problem, the problems of Canaan, Canaan. Tete, vamo, Egypt. When they we all came, we were coming from Egypt. You might start fighting. Kenan. Kenan. You start, you may start fighting the new things that God is introducing. God himself will say, let, let, let us take this one. It can cause someone to die. A vision can kill a person. Hello? Amen. Even visionary, who can't take a stand up and go. A visionary, if they fail to change or to transform, will die. God will say, "Let us take out. Let us take you." You know, there are visions. 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 You know, there are
vision he started improvising the vision that God at gave this, him. Let us do what people are able to understand. In his desire to get people understanding God wanted to kill him. It's dangerous to try to do things that people understand. Hello. Amen. Hello. Amen. So, God said to Moses, I want you to enter into Canaan. Look for 70 men. My elders. Elders. These ones that are called elders, they, they, it doesn't mean they were elders. They were elder even they are now elders. It means even the, the way they hold themselves, they had a certain now, level of understanding. There, I want you to understand. Remember, when they left Egypt, they Egypt, were not 70. When they left Egypt, they were Egypt, not 70. Millions. In Egypt, they went out as millions. But out of my millions, we are going to start with the 70. But out of those millions, God chose 70. Which means the presence of Mwari, I read to Wakura. The presence of the Lord doesn't mean you are mature. Those who can own out to see what past 70, you are not yet an elder. If you see that your name is not amongst but, the seven, if I'm by you are not a man. But all of them were under the cloud of the Lord. Past seven, per million Moses against the Chisar was a seven. Amongst the million Moses was even if they are in the presence of the Lord, there is a certain level Which of maturity means you that is presence, but are very immature. You might be in the presence of the Lord and yet become being immature. And the maturity I only lead Maturity is not seen by the number of people that you are leading. wisdom It's seen by the wisdom on how you handle issues. Hello. Amen. Hello. Amen. So Moses was separated seven. So Moses set aside the seven. This is where my story is. After he searched for the seven. And God said, bring them all to the temple. I want to to them. Because I want to take the spirit that I've bestowed upon you. I want to split it amongst the seven. So Moses was at the seven. And God said, bring them all to the temple. Kutembele. Moses chose the seventy he took them, and he went to the temple where they were supposed to meet with the Lord. And the it was a place of worship. So I now seventy past seventy. When he went with them, the seventy. two I don't know what happened amongst the other two. Maybe they were not in good standing to go but to the church. But 68 went. But Moses, but Moses presented 70 names unto the Lord. And God asked, have they come? And he said, yes. What was the reason to bring them the spirit? And the verse 17 of the chapter numbers, Let's chapter 11. Let us go to verse 17. Verse 17. Uh -huh. And I will come down, uh -huh. talk with thee there, uh -huh. and I will take off the spirit which is upon thee. Take the 70. When you take them, I'm going to come down and I'll speak with you. When I finish speaking the spirit is the anointing. When I finish speaking with the you, ability to go to Moses Ashande. I'm going to take the anointing. But this is a papo. Grasp that that part. Irekundi spirit. What is, what is called the spirit? It was the anointing, not the power yet of Moses Ashande. Is also no Simba that caused Moses to work. That's why many. God said, and the power could divide into many. That's why God said, and the parts are not. Now, Mara was who got the anointing. God is not. Are you going to the power of the Lord? The same no, anointing no, no. that is upon you. Can you imagine what the power of the Lord is? Imagine one person. I have an anointing. I could not go on a foot to stand up and do seven. He had an anointing that could work amongst the seven people. But he must stand up and do one. But it used him. Mwara not in the aku gazira imu. There's one person. God did not say I'm going to create another anointing. No, no, no. Those are just not the monuwe. Say akadan wana mwari. That's why I see every person called forth by God. Aku ne mwana anointing ino gazira. Wagatu anointing kwa zora wagatuma. There is no other anointing that is going to be produced. Mwara wa kanzwa to you. I see afar aku kurava not divide that the anointing iripandiri. When God says that you, I see is. Growing, you know, distribute into my 
na workers. And this anointing is distributed amongst the workers. That is what I want to explain today. What is it? Go and stand. I want to speak with you. This time I want to give you an instruction that you open it. And you can take out another. I'm going to give you an instruction that you open it. In any and you take out another. I am God. I know how I know that you are not going to distribute. Because I want to give you an instruction. You did not anoint yourself. And there is basarakwe basarangwe. You are just a custodian. It's not your duty. It's my duty. You are just a custodian of the anointing. And we'll put it upon them. And I'll we'll put it upon them. The spirit, eh? And they shall bear the burden of the people. They shall bear the burden of the people. And the reason why na dotu sarudzewa mu inyaya kuti burden ya kukuri iravano vacho na zawa kuwa wanda. The reason why I want you to choose other people is because the burden is now too big. Saka mwenye wako pancha wisa pakati pa wacha tanga kunzo bedding. When I put my spirit amongst them, they are going to feel the bedding. In other words, wacha tanga ku acta wonge ma founders. Yo asiri ma founder. They are going to act as founders and yet they are not founders. Wacha tanga kunzo wisi sa shumwe jo jinu jo yo farongo chitu wisa nao. They are going to understand some of the things that you are supposed to understand. I want to explain this that you may understand. Muno zere wuti akuna muno wamuari. There is no a person of God who has been given a mission by the Lord who is with his whole abilities from God. Who is functioning because unofa. you will die. Now, what they are calling the anointing is this is what gives people the ability to save. That's why if you are called ushers of the church, you, 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 you are different in the anointing. You anointing. Do. What teaches you to work is the anointing. It tells you Saka how you are going to work. You are going to work with the anointing. What you are going to work for the commission. The day it comes doesn't start on the usher, but it Saka starts on the person who is called the anointing. Saka zunet kande zote zora ndaka zunet kande zote zora the day I was anointed, I was anointed to be a doctor. I was anointed to be a doctor. I was anointed to have security. So the problem in it can be easy. The problem that happens is he is this. Those are the people who are volunteers. That's why volunteers come first. And the one who has the abilities actually is not able to do his job. He is not able to do his job. They come. And you are supposed to have the abilities of what they want to save. So you are supposed to push down to them. Because of where you are going, God is saying there is a requirement of a certain level of excellence. Moses, you are not supposed to be in Deco. Because you are not supposed to be in Deco. Because you are not supposed to be in Deco. Moses, you are not supposed to be in Deco. Because you are not supposed to be in Deco. If you read backwards, Moses is the one who announced. You would go and bath. When people come, you would search if they have bathed. Oh, now you are going to get to know how to bathe. If they did not bathe properly, go. Oh, now you are going to get to know how to bathe. If they did not bathe properly, go. 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 If so when the servant came to the Lord, you can see there shall be the burden of the people with thee. That thou be it not thyself alone. Which means the first sign of God that vision, I far ago move. Oka onori mu. Foods, which it has no sorry one, it means I'm certain money capacity. If you are a you shepherd and you are doing everything alone, it means you don't have capacity. If things are happening because of your presence, you don't have the capacity. Until you have elders, people who understand things of the spirit. What excites on this issue, elders were not anointed It means there are some things that these people did and they saw and they stood in the gap before they were anointed. Moses when Moses was asked to choose, he just went to choose to pick those who could be sent. 
Because he's the one who chose. Verse 18. Uh -huh. And say thou unto the people, uh -huh. sanctify yourselves against tomorrow. Okay, 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 okay. And they 24, right? Yes. Verse 24. Uh -huh. And Moses went out Moses and told the people the words of the Lord. Uh -huh. And gathered the 70 men of the elders of the people. Please tell me. Uh -huh. And set them round about the tabernacle. Uh -huh. Verse 25. Uh -huh. And the Lord came down in a cloud. Seventy are going to encounter Namari for the first time. The seventy are encountering God for the first time. Not because they have prayed so much. It's because they have been selected. And God said, "You have given me a chance to access them." Now, seventy for the first time. Seventy are going to tanga. They saw God coming in a cloud. Whom they have never seen all along. They were seeing him because they were being commissioned on the vision of the Lord. Now, dangerous. That's where the danger is. That God calls me. Then I am put under the vision of the Lord. Because remember, that's where the, amongst them, that's where some guys said, we also hear from the Lord. And God said, take them from amongst the people, I want to kill them. Like, I have never Those done first before. Those are the first people to be buried alive. Because Moses introduced Introduce them to the face of the Lord. And the face of the Lord was to my burden, a lesson with Israel vision. If I'm going to open up Kenya, the reason was to lessen the burden, but and to carry the vision into Kenya. So, God, who brought Zika, eh? And the cloud came. Please read. And the Lord came down in a cloud uh -huh. and spake unto him uh -huh. and took off the spirit that was upon him. Uh -huh. And gave it unto the seventy elders. Uh -huh. And it came to pass uh -huh. that when the spirit rested upon them, uh -huh. they prophesied and did not cease. Now, no, 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 no. Moses, the Lord is going to be Moses heard what he heard from the Lord. And God said, I'm beginning that session that I was about to do. A part of the anointing. Then God took the, a part of the anointing. And it was distributed from the, those who were, who were present. As it entered up in them, they started seeing the things that Moses saw. It is said they prophesied but the whole day. Moses, 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 the owner of the anointing, he, the whole day. he was just watching. If you read the ones who prophesied, because were not the ones these were new things, so it was but exciting to them. But that was ability of Moses. They did not know that it was part of the ability of Moses. And then Moses could talk to them and it was a maturity. The calmness of Moses was a depiction of maturity. Of not to prophesy the whole day, even in which point he said. The ones who started prophesying were the youngsters which the Spirit set before. They started seeing and prophesying the whole day. Where the danger is, is here. Uh -huh. But there remained two of the men but in the camp. Two. There were two who were absent on this day. Who were supposed to be part of that same vision. They were hit by the same anointed that went now, out of danger Moses. The danger is these two that did not know the reason why they promised so the So these two they thought maybe the what we spent the day doing, that's where no. the power came from. 
Mune kwa mno faronge muri but muri kui tanaro. Not know if there is a place where you are supposed to be but you are too argumentative. Muri kuramba muri kumba but angwana chunga na. You are you are remaining home and others are gathered somewhere. Saka zora wa kunzi dore kuranga roa kwa bora shika. The day of their remembrance when it came. They were hit by the same things that hit those who were in the tabernacle. The issue is that two were hit when, when they were not in the prayer retreat. No, no, no. But I'm wondering why. When this two began to profit, when this when these two began to promise the youngsters was not in the service but, but this youngster used to enter into prophetic services of Moses and he saw that these two are doing exactly what Moses does and what happened and the to the name of the one was Eldad Eldad yeah. the name of the other Medad Medad yeah. the spirit rested upon them uh -huh. And there were there were of them that were written, but uh -huh. went not no, out no, 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 into no, no, the no, no, tabernacle. No, no. There were of them that were written. It means but they were not present. So saka mucho not ino di church a usaru zene kuti kunet kwa jua unoda unosaru zano ti zita rakora kanyorwa iko. You don't choose a church because it it performs what you want. You go to a church because your name has been written there. Kune mazita anenga katonyorwa. There are names that are written in that church. What causing these youngsters to act in that way? Uh -huh. and, that is, uh -huh. and they prophesied in the camp. Uh -huh. Verse 27. Uh -huh. Verse 26. Uh -huh. But there remained two of the men in the camp. Uh -huh. And the name of the one was Eldad. Uh -huh. And the name of the other murdered. Uh -huh. And the spirit rested upon them. Uh -huh. And they were of them that uh -huh. were written, uh -huh. but went not out unto the tabernacle. But not went out. They did not go to the service. The Holy Spirit was telling me. This week, the last courage, Sangana, was the Kunevanachaoya. As the year began, I told you there are people who are coming. This commission that are coming. Some people that have begun to do things that were supposed to be done long back. The anointing is not going to work because they are here. It's working because their names are supposed to be here. So when, that, testimony so when that Nemba. child comes with a testimony of a car and a house, not knowing that it's a, pra it's a prayer that was done when you were not at the table, they, they may sipo. think that it is their own ability and they can do it with tongues. Because ability you are supposed to be careful because the ability that you are supposed to be careful because the ability that you are supposed to be careful because the ability that you are supposed to be careful because the ability that you are supposed to be careful because the and the Zotra Kuns, we see Squa is also. And they are not present. Do you know? 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 Do there are people whom we have not encountered physically, but they are dreaming. Yeah, but, physically, I have not met but them. No one so minister to them. But in the dream, they see me minister so to them. The day they are going to see me, they are going to be surprised and say, this so man you know you know is not Because the name has been registered already. So what pains is this? There are people who are in the tabernacle, but not yet prophesied. But even though they are in the tabernacle, but it's happening in their absence. And there ran a young man. And told Moses and said, Eldad and Medad do prophesy in the camp. You are here, but prophet, there are people who are prophesying. Verse 28. And Joshua the son of Joshua! No, 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 no. The time when this youngster came. Some people were 
We had received power and prophesied. But he was so close to Moses. Joshua was not prophesying and yet he was close to Moses. Zokuti remember because Zorukunzi vanhu vaka prophet azwarese. Remember it's being said people prophesied. But Parukusha kamvano Joshua anga rake munyama mu beef baba. But when this young man got there Joshua was the people who hate prayer are those who are close to the People pray when they are not yet. And then those are the most attacked. When they are leaders, they don't pray. We don't go to the table when people are praying. Amen. Look when, they, when a prayer is called for. Joshua, the young men very close to Moses. Joshua, the young men close to Moses are closer. You don't see them on the prayer gathering. What Joshua, the young man. It's the spirit of Joshua, Mujaya. So, when I was a young man, I was a young man. Verse 29. 29 uh-huh. And Moses said unto him, Moses, what? Eh? Envious did thou for my sake. Iwe. Did you write a nation up? Verse 29. Uh-huh. Moses, Akat Kwa Ari. Uh-huh. Ko une shungu no kuda kwangu yeri. No, no, no. Uruguta ta godo ne kuda kwangu. Ana kuda ne kuda kwabo kwangu. You are being envious because of because me. Because Moyoruko parita ndindu kunzwi sande wangu. The spirit is operating. I understand it. It's my spirit. Samu no oruguru isa avazi. Iwa oruguru isa enini. You are not fighting against these people. You are fighting against me. Kose yu une pore kuru isa commission. Une shungu ne kuda kwangu yeri. Why are you fighting against the commission? Huh? Huh? Daiva nuvose va Jehovah. Daiva nuvose va Jehovah. Inzwa Moses. All the people uh-huh. of the Lord. Daiva va porofita. Do not show that they may say we are going to pay more for porofita. I wish that everyone would receive the spirit and now, prophecy. Now, why must I get out of the way? Because this is not going to be easy. Take your seats. Tom Botemu areva tanga basa. Let's say God has begun a work. Vaga tanga basa vano zodza muno anono mira are a captain we basa iroro. When he Starts that work, he anoints a person who stands Mamu, as the captain of the work. Founder. Some you call them founders. Akuna founder in a church. There is no founder with a church. Founder was a total captain under an instructor. Every founder is a captain. Those are the ones who are under the Lord. That's why they are called the servants of the Lord. Now, kunzi buranda wamuari kwa zonzo uruku operate uri under. The ancient or under the instructions, the Mukurumari. To be a servant of the Lord, it means you are operating under the instructions. These are not the servants of people, but the servants of the Lord. The owner of the church is Jesus. So 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 the owner of the Anointing, you know, to attract my volunteers. And that anointing starts to attract volunteers. Mostly my slaves from Egypt. And mostly those volunteers are slaves that are coming from and Egypt. And the are captain. And it is the duty. Rekuti apote achu zavano zuruguta ora mwari pam soro pe kwa rugwe. That is regularly supposed to tell people what God is telling them about where they are. Dosaka muchona kuti amunoti excellence, excellence, excellence. Uno tori mwea. That's why you see what you call excellence. It is a spirit. I'm not excellent. I'm not even going to ask you. What is your excellent? I just want to know your ability, your commission. You know, people are not aware when you bring your own. What you call excellence? It is the ability. No, sir. I told you, I'm going to come back. I'm not going to come back. But as long as you see that, that comes from the from the commission. I'm not going to go to Saza. I'm going to go to Kuzumuru Wandu. That's why you see, for you to be filled with. I'm not going to go to Tamwea. For you to be filled up is the spirit. And then we know the wood. We know God visits from where. 
person who is filled up, it is the spirit of the Lord. So the person, if a devouring spirit enters your house, it it devouring, a huge volume of sad. The spirit of devouring comes and stays upon people. People will just be hungry. Your food staff will not It requires a Even now, nothing to go back up at but where or not go it's a part of godliness to be filled up. It's godliness for you to eat and be filled up. The more the more godliness you are, the less That's the less volume of food that you eat. the more and the more the the evil spirits. The bigger the volume of what you are doing. Entered through the stomach. I na kupinda ne fornication kana adultery. I na kuya ne upombe. Zitari sana uka wedzira kuna matatuona tu nukunza uguta. If you increase your prayer life, you are quick to be full. Tukawa na nata na seru nuno zvatinda dumbraga ziki swari zidi dumbraga ziki swa wakadila nemwe ya uno pizza chikaf. Those who fast too much, you <laughs> dealt with the spirit that <laughs> finishes food. <laughs> the stomach is the same. Problem. It's you, but you have dealt with a certain spirit. Hello. Amen. Hello. Amen. Hello. Amen. Now, Saka, panoya zozo inoya katakura iri full package. When the anointing comes, comes in its full package. Saka, my early days anenga ni ma volunteers. So, mazwe kutanga when volunteers come. Dosa kachono pesa pata kutwa program. It is the anointing ino deru apanga petro zakat apa muchishanti sa jiripo pangwe yoyo. Every time a program is done, the anointing directs. But as you now grow in, into the Lord. God tells the bearer of the anointing that the time is not Because mission mission is not where the mission is supposed to be. Going, you are not supposed to remain on the same place. that power, that anointing, that ability. I want to split that anointing now. and put it among the people. So when this one comes unto me, no, 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 no. There's something that I'm dead. Zakuno, anenge mwaraga munda. Then I discover that God is the one who calls. As mwari, I don't identify and didi no far identifier. It is sign your maturity, your captain. It's not God who identifies. It's me who identifies. Saka mwari zano ita ano shuka kuna mosu oti di saru zire sevente nge mozi nge anu saru but ari mwararu saru zari mna Moses. God says to Moses, go and look for seventy. Saka mwari chata mwari chata mwari chata Moses aku gonere kunzu wa yesu kirangu even paku saru za, paku make ama decisions. God wants to know if Moses can now Saka Moses, ano so shikoti iwe, newe, 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 shikoti ni mo asiri Moses aruku, itori ab that's an ability of godliness. It's as if Moses is the one who chose, but it's like in the book of Genesis. It's like in the book of Genesis. God created animals and he tells Adam to go to the garden. God created animals and he tells Adam to go to the garden. And God says to Adam, give names. Adam, you are going to test the ability of Adam. God wanted to test his ability of Adam. Kuti kana ndisi popa no pa garden umwari wandaka samuna adabu unorambere uchitonga even achinzonge ndiri kure but asi kazo ndiri popa ari If I'm not present in the garden can my God Saka Adam pane voice raimu raimu taurira So to Adam there was a voice that told him Iyo fungo ndi ari kufunga and he thought he was speaking Ability to hear that voice depicts. Do not say that you are not Adam. Why do you not say that you are not Adam? Why do you not say that you are not Adam? Why do you not say that you are not Adam? Why do you not say that you are not Adam? Why do you not say that you are not Adam? Why do you not say that you are not Adam? Why do you not say that you are not Adam? Why do you not say that you are not Adam? Why do you not say that you are not Adam? Why do you not say that you are not Adam? Why do you not say that you are not Adam? Why do you not say that you are not Adam? Why do you not say that you are not Adam? Why do you not say that you are not Adam? Why do you not say that you are not Ane mwa ability yakuta kada ngono ti kuskura kwa ndeta ni wabata zipi. Yes, kuti na bali. My spending day with you, what have you grasped? Ano kutora pen ne paper. 
takes a pen and a paper. And he said, I want you to name this chair. And God writes the name of five chairs and you are not seeing it. He he says, name this Unofara kupa exactly says Rakanyura Mwari. You are supposed to give exactly the same So that you know because that you are are being used by the Bible says, Who knows the mind of a person? 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 Baba. This is the test that one goes through. So, if you're you're the baba the the so, you know, Tom, but you, let's say this one. I still remember oh, when he came. When he sister, came, I told you, I told you are going to be the one who going to do graphic but design. But I He was in the electrical field. Yeah, and he said, I cannot do it, but. I told him you are going to do it from today. Now, now, now. Zino. now. It means Zoratara Daro. Meaning the day when I said it. God, when he said, I'm going to put a portion in him. He's not the one who's supposed to teach you to And in Nindi and that Tendero Kuno Pinde Koko Tindino Naguti, Posta, Raka, Mara, Panita Discord, Dirisinga Ite. I'm not supposed to interfere with what he's doing. Saka Mukamuna, where I am a posta, Anatori in Nini, Mayori Mandiri. If you see me in that area of graphic design, it's me, my spirit. Saka Uyu Anufara Kuto Rot, Quas and Dofaronga di Chito Itwa. Saka is supposed, so he's supposed to. But Rumpa ability. That the anointing is the power of God, the anointing. Hmm. Amen. Even if they call, you are good, the ones of us are roots, the Vaka, we are my own Arukan opinion that that same anointing can I even good the Shandisa. If I choose them in the spirit of God, as the Farrakua would zero, I would never die, because I'm not a Chandi would say, Tell them what to do. I would never go to why some are elders, they must prophesy. Because you have put elders on when the I profit area yake, the whole day. Everyone was prophesying It's not like my area ability. They were prophesying according to their abilities. That is Do you understand? Even For the burden to be lessened. Burden idi. Pana Moses. For the burden to be lessened upon Moses. It's not. Murutora zot pana wa siru porofita. You are being sure that are not prophesying are not what God wants. They are not supposed to be told. Because what to anoint for that, there's a power no for God. Because there have been anointed ability to profit. There's a power that is supposed to tell so problem to they to God. They are not supposed to be told. People, the problem is when well, they are told of prophesying, you are not knowing you start prophesying which goodness that God gave you. So, Tom Botu Eskamu, Department Rebuns Wakita Jet Deco, example. Let's take for example, this one has been put in now, the Department of Deco. You know, Tori Mos or Dinanchi Moods wrote Sang at Ichidai. It's actually a crime for me to so come and tell him what to do. I'll come and ask him, what are you thinking about him? What are you thinking about him? My asking is just to find out if he's in alignment with the will because of God. Because I know for what I'm going at least a glimpse of my will. He's supposed to give me the name of what God has told me. Now, you know what I'm saying? What shows that God has showed Kwa him? Paratid, zwa, yato be vision. Kuna when, uyu. when God shows him, it becomes a vision. Kwa, no, no, no. Chona, arukuita vision, mukati mengwe vision. He's having a vision inside of another vision. And there's not a tender wa izozo. And it's permissible. 
Because do ability yaka piwa na mwari. Because that's the ability that God has given. Saka uyu vision yake ya ndifare kuiru wisa. So I'm not supposed to fight against Because the remember, apana muridzi we church i, i church ya Jehovah. Mwari rai, there is no owner of the church. Jaya ruku zashu, daku ituwa kudeko. Saka that ability yaka fara kuchu mbatsira. So he's the one who does deko, the now, ability is supposed to help him. Unuwesa ane vision, unumona ne kusadara chinja uzwa. Everyone with a vision, you see them laboring for what God has told you. believe him. Don't believe a person who says, I've been told to do this. If you have got a vision, even the funding, you are the one who is not the ministry, we partner more than ever. In this ministry, we partner more than ever. We have a vision, even if you have a vision. Given a vision of Asher. To show that he has It's vision. like fire in his bones. It doesn't hinder him to do what he's supposed to so do. I'm not going to go to the house. I'm not going to go to the house. I'm not going to go The spirit will push him. Amen. Hello? Amen. Hello? Amen. So, I'm not going to go to the house. If I get the, to a place and I get to a place where 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 I get to a what they are doing is what they are supposed to be, to be doing. Hello. Amen. Hello. Amen. Saka uyu atatanga kuita my my experiences and that's get before. This one will start having experiences. And in nini sa captain do fara opota di chicheka kuti de hupa kuita my experiences. As a captain, I'm supposed to search who is having. Dogure wa ma god the experiences even in dreams. Ano fara otanga usanga namari seka sanga ni rano kavi tani. He's supposed to have experiences in dreams in the same. Saka uyu ano gona otanga kona namari in a form ya pastor wa chuo chimuza. You might see me as a form of a pastor coming to tell you. And